Hey, what's up everybody? Today, we're gonna be doing a little uh, little morning fishing. It's not super early, about uh, 06. So we're gonna get out there on the lake. Uh, it's a pretty cloudy day. Might rain a little bit, which is actually pretty rare for Washington in the summertime up here in the old PNW. Uh, it actually stays uh, fairly clear and sunny throughout most of summer. But this is one of those nice shady, cloudy days. I think it makes for some great bass fishing weather. All right, so hopefully we get out here and catch some as I make my way onto the shore. Get a little drink of drink. So funny news, actually not too far from my house. I guess some plane got hijacked and crashed out into the Puget Sound. If you don't know what the Puget Sound is, it's this big huge body of salt water that I live by like five minutes away that's why I like to do a lot of salt water fishing too do a lot of flounder jigging all that kind of stuff down there I guess it crashed really really close over where I live where I live that's pretty nuts and insane check it out in the news when I get back actually gonna be fishing with one of my good buddies I haven't seen for a while so he goes to me from uh, church works on the military base so you can get on there man I tell you what if you got some type of military base access utilize those lakes that they got on post because gosh darn these, these uh, they got a lot of hidden lakes around there that are untouched Trevor troves treasure troves bass factories just popping them up Get some. First cast out. Don't get no better than that, baby. Woo! Good morning. Good morning. Good evening and good night. Yep, he got a little bit in the gills, but hey, these fish are a lot more resilient than you think. Let's take a picture with you, buddy. Get you back in the water. All right, buddy, get back in there. Heal up. Get some. Come on, baby. Oh, she's a fighter. Oh, she's a fighter. Don't you go diving deep. There we are. Right at the lilies. Oh, she's a chubsies too. I was like, let me just cast in over at these lilies real fast. No. Senko. Oh, that was the perfect hook set too. She wasn't going nowhere. Yeah, like it was perfectly like right at the lily pads. Man, this poor girl. <laughs> it's the only bad thing about using these uh these hooks that I got. They got really big barbs. There we go. No, you don't. Give me my Senko back. Ah. No, you don't. Ah, gosh darn it, she pricked me. Measure her up. She is right at 17. Right. That you, Rocky? Yeah, Tim. You see it already? Yeah, nice. <laughs> Get you back. Come on, baby. Cinco, huh? Yep. Second one on the Cinco. Oh, that's a good sign. 
not huge. Oh, that's it's okay. Ain't nothing I brag about. Still a fail. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a jerk move. My bad. Oh, he's uh 14, just barely. Looks a lot smaller than 14, don't he? Alright, buddy. Fish sniff. See you later. Back on the board, Rocky. <laughs> Woo! He splashed me. Dang. Yeah, it's pretty dark in here, but yeah, so that was why you should try checking out any type of different lakes. This one was specifically on a military base, uh, any other military out there. Check out your lakes on post. They're not touched by a lot of civilians, so go out there, have some fun. And if you're a civilian and you do have some base access, get out there and try to catch some fish. Bottom line up front, explore your area. Hope you all have a good one. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button if you like it and you want to see more artillery fishing. Out.